Delmar has some advice for Democrats in Congress, do something or just stop talking about it when it comes to all the talk of impeaching President Trump. Marr outlined a couple of ways for Democrats to remove Trump from the White House, one way was reasonable, though ultimately impractical, and the second way was just nonsensical. During his HBO show Real Time with Bill Maher Friday, Maher voiced an opinion much like that of many Trump supporters and conservatives, either go ahead and start the impeachment process or drop it. For more than two years, some Democrats have made clear their intentions to impeach Trump as a way of nullifying the last presidential election. It began back in 2017 when two Democrats tried to initiate the process in the House of Representatives. Rep. Al Green and Rep. Brad Sherman. The drumbeat for impeachment has slowly grown with time. When the Mueller report was released, finding no evidence of collusion with Russia by the Trump campaign, Democrats latched onto the obstruction of justice charges listed in the report. Mueller did not recommend moving forward and prosecuting the president but did leave that part of his report dangling, apparently in an effort to toss it to Congress. Mueller punted on the obstruction of justice charges. Now it is almost impossible for a Democrat to appear on a cable news show without being asked about impeachment. Rep. Green even went so far as to say that he's afraid that if Democrats don't move to impeach President Trump, he will be re-elected. Democrats are facing a turning point. Do they go forward and accelerate the impeachment process in Congress and please their base? Or, do Democrats keep their powder dry and wait it out until the 2020 presidential election? Either choice alienates a portion of the party membership. The far left and party loyalists are the ones who will get out and vote in the primary races. Moderates and independent voters are not interested in putting the country through impeachment. Speaker Pelosi and Democrat leadership in the House know impeachment is a political loser for the party that initiates it. Recent polling shows a lack of interest in impeachment from independents and Republican voters, the voters that Democrats must convince to vote for a Democrat candidate in 2020. Simply put, impeachment is not at the top of voters' priorities. The latest Harvard Caps Harris poll survey found that 65% of respondents oppose impeachment proceedings. A majority of Democrats polled, 56%, support impeachment, however, only 32% of independents and 14% of Republicans are in favor. A majority of respondents, 58%, said it's time to turn the page on the Russia investigations, including 60% of independents although two-thirds of Democrats want to see further investigations. Impeachment ranks fourth on the list of priorities voters have for the Democratic-controlled House, behind addressing the status of immigrants in the country illegally, stimulating the economy and strengthening Obamacare. So, in this case, Bill Maher is right. Democrats are faced with making the decision between beginning the impeachment process or letting it go. It's time that the decision is made, what to do, what to do. Democrats, either do something or stop talking about it. Dash at Bill Maher hashtag realtime pick dot twitter dot com slash 7 h 8 l 9 c p p p j realtime, at realtimers. May 11, 2019 Marr offered a second way to remove the president and that involves First Lady Melania Trump. This is the nonsensical option I mentioned above. He said Melania can leave her husband and take their son, Barron, with her. Melania Trump must do what dozens of buildings around the world have done and take the Trump name off, Marr said during tonight's New Rules segment. President Hellboy has proved to be impervious to facts reason, shame and the law, but maybe if you left him for another man he would implode on his own. He went on, you can end this reign of terror and all, you have to do is channel your Taylor Swift and walk out the door, kick him to the curb, slap away that hand for good. And, no more public embarrassment, no more porn stars, no more stealing your makeup.
tell him, I'm leaving you and I'm taking our child. He would be stunned. Then in his Trump voice, we have a child? Mara went on to suggest that Melania buddy up with her friend Jerry Hall, a.k.a. Mrs. Rupert Murdoch, because both of their husbands are ruining the world, you know. As an added bonus, he included a reference to Game of Thrones. I don't watch the show so I'll leave the relevance of the reference to those who do. You two have a lot in common, Mar said, appealing directly to the wives. Your husbands are ruining our world. Murdoch, he suggested, is doing to the world what Jerry left Mick for doing to anything that moved. But Mar was more graphic. The comedy bit worked its way toward Mar's more serious point when he lambasted Trump and Murdoch's Fox News as being on an insane feedback loop, like that couple who keeps giving each other herpes. And for good measure, there was a Game of Thrones reference, Murdoch and Trump, Mar said, are like the Night King, only instead of commanding an army of brain-dead zombies, okay, they're exactly like that. Hashtag new rule. Melania Trump must do what dozens of buildings around the world have done and take the Trump name off. President Hellboy has proved to be impervious to facts, reason, shame and the law, but maybe if you left him for another man he would implode on his own. Hashtag realtime pick.twitter.com slash 5kj2y5ok, realtime, at realtimers. May 11, 2019 It should be noted that Marr brought in some truthful questioning of Rep. Tim Ryan, one of 347 Democrats running to be the party's nominee in the 2020 Democrat primary. The Ohio Democrat was caught off guard when Marr talked about feeling owned by the woke crowd on social media. The host said whoever is willing to stand up to the Twitter mob will be victorious at the polls. I'm looking for the Democrat who's gonna stand up to the Twitter mob. Are you willing to do that, to stand up to the people who are woke? Mar asked, which sparked applause. He reacted, look at that, even an LA audience wants to stand up to the woke. The HBO star later pointed to recent polling from the Morning Consult that showed 65% of adults say people should be able to say what they really think, even if it offends people. 81% say people are offended too easily and that only 10% of Twitter users are responsible for 80% of all tweets. It's not who we are, it's not who liberals are, Marr said. The Democrat, I'm telling you, who stands up to that clack will win, adding my vote anyway. As the congressman launched into standard Democrat talking points downplaying the success President Trump's policies have brought to the U.S. economy. Mar pushed back. But Ryan stood his ground. I know where the economy is going, he told Mar. Where? The host asked. Right now, nowhere, Ryan answered. The liberal comedian then, intentionally or not, went to bat for Trump. Come on, the economy's not horrible, Mar told Ryan. 4.4% is the unemployment rate in Ohio. It's kinda hard to run against the economy in Ohio, isn't it? No, Ryan responded, because the average wage has only gone up 20 bucks a week. At that point, Marr reminded Ryan that Trump has been president for more than two years and he'll be running on his success with the economy. Ryan may not be willing to admit it but Americans vote with the economy in mind. On this issue alone. President Trump clearly has the edge in the upcoming election, sometimes Bill Maher gets it right. Let's block ads. Why?